Hey there, my name is Melissa Wilson and I help people in recovery improve their mental health, their self-talk, their mindset using holistic practices. Addiction affected every aspect of our being and so should our recovery. Do you ever find yourself romanticizing, drinking or using? A lot of people struggle with this. It's a big hiccup, especially in early recovery. Even though it can happen all throughout the recovery process, even years down the road, but it happens most frequently and most prevalent in the beginning stages of recovery. Another word for romanticizing, like the industry term, the clinical definition, is euphoric recall. Think of euphoric recall kind of as selective memory. It's where we focus on the good things and totally filter out the bad. It's where we remember all the good emotions and maybe the happy times and completely ignore all the negative consequences, the destruction and the negative feelings like guilt and shame that come from our drinking and using. That's what euphoric recall is. And that's a slippery slope to be in. And the reason why is because we're remembering our active addiction days incorrectly. When you focus on the positive and totally forget the negative, that really starts to go down a rabbit hole to a relapse. Another thing euphoric recall can do, it, it could make you question your desire to get and stay sober. Perhaps you're thinking, you know, if I'm having these thoughts, um, maybe I don't want to get sober. Or maybe you're thinking, maybe it's not as bad as I remember it, you know? All these good things did happen. Maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought, you know, that kind of mindset. And as you can see, that kind of distorted thinking is a trip down relapse lane, really. So it's important to know when you're romanticizing, when you're in euphoric recall, it's important to recognize it. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. So if you are aware that this is a normal part of the recovery process, then you can address it, okay? First thing, don't freak out. Just because you're having these um, romanticizing thoughts, these euphoric recalls, don't start second guessing your recovery. Don't start second guessing your intentions for quitting. It's a completely normal part of the healing process. And you can't stop them. They just happen. A lot of times they're triggered like, okay, for example, if you um, frequently drink or use, let's say at a sporting event and you go to a sporting event for the first time sober, just the fact of being there is gonna start bringing up all these good memories, all the euphoric recall. And then you're gonna sit there and be like, Maybe it wasn't as bad as I remember. You can't stop them. You have to recognize them and address them. Okay, eventually they will peter out <laughs> and they won't happen as frequently or as strongly and you can move on. So there's five things you can do. Um, actually, there's five things that you need to remind yourself when the euphoric recall, the romanticizing comes up. Okay, the thing to do is to challenge the thoughts, to be really honest with yourself and address with honesty the thoughts that are coming into your head. First of all, you need to remember that you don't need drugs or alcohol to have fun. A lot of times these, um, the romanticizing comes up during fun times, like, a, like a, a sporting event or a party, like a wedding or barbecue or something like that. During a place where you're having fun and you think a drink would make it better. You don't need to have alcohol to have fun. You don't need drugs to have fun. At first, it's awkward, it's weird because it's different. Not because it's worse or bad, because it's just, it's different. Different doesn't mean bad, different simply means different. All you have to do is just repeat over and over, the fun times with no alcohol and it becomes the new normal. Give yourself some grace, let yourself experience these experiences sober and you will quickly realize that you can have fun without drugs and alcohol. Another thing to remember when romanticizing is that drugs and alcohol are bad for our health, okay? 
we have nothing if we don't have our health. There is no safe amount of alcohol, none. It is a carcinogen, it's a neurotoxin. It's what we put in our cars for fuel. It's not healthy, not even, not even one drink. One drink has health risks. For all the studies out there that say, you know, minimal drinking does this, that, and the other, there are 10 times more that show the negative effects of alcohol, okay? You're not missing anything by not drinking. You're actually improving your health by not drinking. So that's another thing to remember when you're romanticizing. The third thing, drinking is never as fun as you remember it. Yes, there were good times, right? At some point at the beginning, it had to be fun or we wouldn't have kept doing it. Let's be honest, don't lie to yourself about that. But if you're quitting or have quit, I'm going to assume that at the end, the negatives far outweighed the positives or you wouldn't have quit. Don't tell yourself it'll be different this time. Don't go chasing the dragon and trying to go back to the beginning of your drinking and using and try to rem go back to those days. Those days are gone forever. Drinking is never as good as you remember it. The fourth thing to do when you romanticize is play the tape forward. Honestly, intentionally remember what is gonna happen if I indulge and take that first drink or that first drug. Honestly, put yourself there. Put yourself there at the end of the night or the next day when you're waking up full of regret and shame and remorse. Maybe you get in a fight with your significant other. Maybe your kids are disappointed and hurt. Maybe you've said something that you can't take back. Those are all the things that happened to me when I drank. Those are the things I have to remember whenever those stupid, euphoric thoughts start coming into my head. I have to honestly focus on that that is not my reality. My reality is I lose control and I do damage. So that's what it means by playing the tape forward. Like honestly, take a look at what will happen if you drink or use. Push the, the euphoric good things aside because those aren't real. The reality is the negative consequences that comes from drinking and using. That's the stuff that we need to remember. That's the stuff you need to remember. So intentionally and purposefully remind yourself of the stuff that happens after you drink or use. And finally, one of the best things that you can do when you start romanticizing is think about all the good memories you are building in sobriety. Memories that aren't clouded and fuzzy and distorted because of alcohol or drugs. You're not gonna have these hazy memories that are kind of foggy and you don't remember, it. you remember like bits and pieces and chunks. You're gonna remember it all. You're gonna remember the good and the bad, unfiltered, completely honest memories with details and things that you can't get from drinking and using. Pure happiness, real happiness, Memories with your family, your children, your significant other, with your friends. Focus on the, the life that you're building, not the crap that you're leaving behind and the sporadic, maybe good times that used to happen that don't happen anymore. Remember that you're building good memories. You're building a bigger future. Focus on what you're building and not what you're leaving behind. So let me know in the comments if this video has helped you. Um, if there is something that I didn't cover that you use to uh, combat like the euphoric recall, the romanticizing, let me know in the comments. People are always looking for ways to help themselves with these sort of things. So build up the conversation. Tell me about it in the comments. If this helped you, like and subscribe. I'll be coming here weekly with videos on how to help your mental health and recovery. If you'd like to journey more on this kind of information, grab my free guide. The link is down below in the description. Three tips for good mental health and recovery. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Smash the like button. Subscribe. See you next time.